Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football. We're back again with another video. Arsenal just played their third preseason game of the season uh, of the preseason, and we lost to Liverpool two to one. And safe to say that this game had some concerns and some positives, but mostly concerns. Uh, as as I do have some uh, some concerns over some players. So we're going to talk about the five things that I learned from this game. But before we go any further, let's talk about what happened in this game. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I will try to be balanced and also talk a little bit about what happened with the Liverpool side of things also. But let's get this show started. Bang. Yes, 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 people. So our, our preseason U.S. tour has ended with a defeat to Liverpool 2-1, to one, and majority all the goals happened in the first half. Right. Yeah. Liverpool got the better of us in the house in Philadelphia. And we need to speak about Mo Salah, Fabian, uh, 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 Fabian Cavallio's goals for Liverpool. And of course, after that, we had the man himself, Kai Havertz, score. Now, the opening goal, Mo Salah, uh, the goal for Mo Salah, Ladies and gentlemen, the goal for Mo Salah, there was, there was three, uh, there was three issues in my opinion. One, you have Zinchenko not really being able to track back Mo Salah. He was just not able to do it. He was struggling, and it was, and it was one 0 Liverpool. We cannot afford. Number one thing that I, I learned from this game, we cannot afford to have, uh, what do you call it? Zinchenko playing up against the likes of Mo Salah and some of the other top players in the league. He's just not quick enough and, and he's going to hurt us. He's going to hurt us more than he helps us. That's the honest truth. He's just going to hurt us. As for as for the, the rest of the team defending, I thought Gabriel Magalhães could have done better. I thought you had situations where you could even say um, the likes of no, it was just Zinchenko and Gabriel Magalhães. Honestly, Mo Salah cut a, cut across um, Gabriel Magalhães, and that makes the the lanes to defend a lot harder. Mo Salah doing what Mo Salah does, and he gets the opening goal for Liverpool. And it was just a simple pass to Mo Salah into space from Harvey Elliott that completely took out the whole defense. And Zinchenko, we're just very grateful that we have Timber, and we're very very grateful that we now have uh, the likes of. Calafuri because Zinchenko is just too much of a liability. That opening goal, if anything, that opening goal teaches you, it's that. Also, we had uh, Cavallo's goal. That goal right there was annoying in the sense that they played, it was beautiful passing, and Cavallo found himself in front of the goalkeeper after they chipped it over the whole defensive line, and that was just poor team defense the whole time if i if i if i look back at that if i look back at that goal that that we conceded the cavallo goal that we conceded like really and truly our defending has to be better than 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 what we witnessed in that in that game it just has to be much better than that we were they were they were pinging it they pinged it around us and it was very silly it was a very silly goal it, let me just let me just look at it again quickly because the way the way I I recall it there was really no intensity from a lot of the players if you, if you if you watch it back you can see that like they're walking to the ball they're letting them play the ball around us and it was just silly so first you have Jota versus Kavior Jota is able to cross it and then you have another Cavallo is able to cross it out wide nobody's coming to close him down then you have a couple of players in the midfield, no, uh, which Odegaard tries to close them down, and then boom, they chip it, and that's it. It's a goal uh, from 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 the finish from Cavallo. and from there it was just two one down. You're just trying to get back into the game. You're trying to do something. You're trying to find some way to get yourself back into the game. Zinchenko had the ball out wide. Uh, then he passes it to Martinelli. Then I think Martinelli uh, tries to take a shot. It gets deflected to Odegaard. And then Odegaard pings it into Kai Havertz for Kai Havertz finish. And I thought Kai Havertz, I thought Kai Havertz should have played up top. We're gonna look at the team lineup and how it looked right now quickly, just to show you guys what the team lineup looked like before we go any further. Do me a favor though, please do hit the like button if you guys are enjoying this content, and please do subscribe if you guys are new. I thought Liverpool had the better of us in the first half. 
honestly. I thought Liverpool had a, uh, the better of us in the first half slightly. I thought we were better in the first uh, I thought both teams were better in the first half. Second half, really, you didn't miss too much. Um, the second half pretty much was the was the uh, Fa Fabio Vieira show for us. He he was the guy who was literally every chance was falling to him, and he just couldn't really finish it to, to get us the equalizer, to get it 2-2. But just to talk about some of the performances, um, some of the things that I learned today, Martinelli, he needs to shoot on his uh, uh, left foot more often because he shoots on his right so much that there's opportunities to take a shot with his left and, and it's probably a better opportunity than it would be if he would bring it on his other foot. But he constantly makes those mistakes. I thought Gabriel Jesus instead of Kai Havertz was a mistake, but Kai Havertz, even though he was in a mi the midfield, he, he ended up scoring. Reese Nelson, he's he's actually linked away to Leicester and he could end up at Leicester. Uh, be, uh, before the end of the before the end of the day, as Leicester are attempting to sign him and currently progressing, so we're going to see if Leicester can actually uh, get the deal sorted for Reese Nelson. Let me just show you guys quickly what I'm talking about with the Reese Nelson deal. Yeah, so that's that's what's going on with Reese Nelson. Uh, just before I get onto the Liverpool side of things, let me just finish off with the Arsenal side of things. I thought um, there's there's a couple of people we got to talk about Odegaard. Uh, doing auto guard things. Thomas Partey, I think he looks, he looks immobile. He looks like he's aged up quite a bit, and he was quite poor today. This midfield cannot run during during Premier League games. This is just not gonna, just not gonna work this season. We have to stay away from this midfield trio. Also, Zinchenko at left back. I don't want to see Zinchenko. We need Zinchenko sold or moved on. He is a liability defensively, and he cannot. Act. I think we've gone past the days of where Zinchenko is going to have to be a key piece to this team. As for Liverpool, Mo Salah doing what Mo Salah does. I thought um, Harvey Elliott was their best player by far. Man of the match created two goals, and and he was everywhere. Um, Mo Salah doing what he does, of course. And the players who came on in the second half. Uh, Leandro Trossard, I didn't really notice him too much. I thought he was okay. Uh, Ethan Winery and the youngsters didn't really shine too too bright this time, but they're going to get a lot of opportunity to do what they got to do during the season. And I thought Eddie and Ketia at the end there had a chance to make it 2-2 and just came short. But hey, he might be headed to Marseille anyways. But yeah, overall, Liverpool got the better of us today. Uh, they, they were much more clinical and they they created the better chances, so you got to give it up to them. As for Arsenal, my concerns are Zinchenko, my concerns are Thomas Partey, my concerns are playing Kai Havertz in the mid in the midfield. I think he's much more effective as a striker. I think Martinelli needs to be able to shoot a little bit better with his with his right with his right foot and his left. Try to try to get that. Try to be more ambidextrous, so you so you can get better chances. And I, and I'm concerned about Jesus up top. But I think that's way more than five things, isn't it? No, it is five things. But yeah, overall, the positives we can take away is our USA preseason tour is done. We're going to be back in England. The players are going to be back in England, re getting ready for the Premier League. And we now have a couple more games. Leon up next. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Big up, everybody. Peace.